welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great new year. I spent the month of December in Miami and Arizona and now I'm back in Anchorage, cold but feeling refreshed. It would really help me out if you would hit the like button, click the bell to be notified when I post something new, and subscribe. I gotta say thank you to a friend of mine who is a ex AutoCAD professor who has a 3D printing company who helped me get this mold together through Zoom calls, emails, and face-to-face -face meetings. I love when companies give you a gift with purchase, so I wanted to create a custom reflection app, Wax Mill, as a thank you to my customers. After finishing the monogram design in AutoCAD, the next step was to figure out what type of filament material we would use for the 3D printer. We end up deciding on this filament right here. It seemed to be the best choice. This is the first version he created. It was great, but it was a bit too thick. This is the second version he created. As you can see, there's a handle so it could be dipped into the silicone. I've already sanded one side off camera because as you can see, there's a lot of little grooves from the 3D printer and little imperfections that the 3D printer does. So I sanded one side off camera. After two days of sanding, I realized I can't use the one with the handle because I'm using the technique that's in this video right here, which I will link in the description. So I have to use something like the first version that he made, but I'm gonna have him make it a little bit thinner. In the video, you see she's pouring the silicone on top. I just don't think that that would work well with a handle. The first one we made was too thin. I didn't want it to break during shipping, but the second one was just right. I was really having problems creating the right size container till I came across this video, which I will link in the description, using Legos that really allows you to customize the size of your container. Instead of using contact paper, I used shipping tape, which was not the best idea. Later you'll see why. I'm filling the container up with rice so that I can weigh the rice and that way I will know how much silicone it will take to fill the container. My candles and wax milk are soy based. I also have car fresheners that are good for your car or your closet. I have new vessels that have been coming out all summer that are available now on the site. While you're there, make sure to check out my blog. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok. As you can see, some of the silicone came between the tape and the monogram, but let's see how it turns out.
doesn't look too bad. Um, I would say don't use shipping tape because when I pulled it off, it damaged two of them. So uh, only four of them I will be able to use. I had to do the pouring off camera because as you can see, it was about to get crazy. Uh, I need a new eyedropper that doesn't have such a big hole because I have to be really careful when I pour. And here's the finished product along with some hearts I created for my Valentine's Day orders. If you haven't already, do your 2022 manifestation list and make sure that you shoot for the stars. Thank you for watching. Ciao.